everyone, I am Nitin Anjari in this PSLE 2018 Paper 2 question series. I will be going through question 16. In my channel, I am to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 16. Okay, so this over here is question 16 and this question is testing us on percentage increase and decrease. Okay, let's read the question first for part A. Lily saved $60 in February. This amount was a 20% increase from what she saved in January. The amount she saved in March was a 15% decrease from what she saved in February. Part A. What was the total amount of that Lily saved from January to March? Okay, now they've read the question. Let's highlight the key information. So Lily saved $60 in February. So this amount was a 20% increase from what she saved in January. Okay. After that, the amount she saved in March was a 15% decrease from what she saved in February. Part A. What was the total amount that Lily saved from January to March? Okay. Now that I've highlighted the key information, let me draw something like this and the first one is to find for January and the second one is to find for March okay so let's find for January first we know that January represents 100% because it's the base the base comes from where is because of this word from so from what she saved in January right so what comes after that is the base actually January and the base is always 100%. And 20% increase, so February is supposed to be 120%. Okay? So, this is how we use the, using to find the base, okay? So, I hope you understand that. And we know that February is actually 120%, right? So, we know that 120% is $60. So, just find 1%, which is 60 divided by 120. And remember, don't put equal sign, okay? Put arrow mark. So 60 divided by 120, it will give us 0 0.50 cents or dollars 50 cents, okay? Dollars 0 0.50 or 50 cents. After that, we need to find what is January, right? So January is basically 100%. So we can find 100% by taking uh, 0 0.50 times 100, which will give us $50 for January. Now we can move on to finding for much. Okay. I think some of you don't understand why it's February 100%. Okay, this is the key to solving the question. Okay, so over here is March, right? And over here they're telling that it's a 15% decrease from what she saved in February, right? So this from after that is of February, right? So that is why I'm telling you that February is the base, so it's 100%. So March is 85% because 100% minus 15% is 85%. So now in this case, we know that 100% is $60. So if I find $1, which is 60 divided by 100, it will give us 60 cents or $0.60. And then we should find 85% to find for March. So it will give us 60 cents times 85, which is $51 for March. Okay. Part A. The total amount for January to March. So we need to add January, February, and March. So the total amount she saved from January to March is basically January plus February plus March, which is 50 plus 60 plus 51 dollars. So it will give us 161 dollars in total. Okay, so now let's read part B. What was the percentage increase from in the amount that Lily saved in March compared to January? Okay. Let's highlight the key information. The percentage increase in the amount Lily saved in March compared to January. Okay? So here is the key word, compared to January. So January is supposed to be the base for this. Okay? So I hope you understand that. So now let's move on to solving the question, right? So compared to January. So first, I'm going to find the difference because in order to find the percentage decrease, increase, we need to find the difference. So I'm going to take $51 minus $50, okay? So it will give me $1. 
and the base is supposed to be January, right? So I'm going to take the base as $50, okay? So the percentage increase compared to January, right, is supposed to be actually 1 over 50 times 100%, okay? So this is how we find the percentage increase. And it will give us 2% for part B. Okay, so the percentage increase for this question, uh, for part B, it is 2%, okay? So I hope you understand my explanation for question 16, part A and B. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!